Welcome to Talking Sci-Fi. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. In tonight's video, we're going to be discussing Snyder's Rebel Moon. Zack Snyder's upcoming sci-fi movie Rebel Moon can deliver on a failed creature attempt made in the 1998 big screen version of Lost in Space. Originally developed as a Star Wars pitch by Zack Snyder, Rebel Moon has been reworked into a new universe and is currently in production and set to debut on Netflix as a two-part epic. By virtue of Rebel Moon being set in a distant galaxy, it'll include numerous characters with a sci-fi twist, most especially the character known as Harmada. Described as a human-spider hybrid woman, Harmada's anatomy naturally means that considerable visual effects and camera magic will be necessary to bring her to life. With her arachnoid DNA, Harmada also brings to mind the Spider Smith character from Lost in Space. The difference is that Harmada, being created over two decades later, will have a much stronger technological basis to work from in Zack Snyder's conception of Rebel Moon than Spider Smith had. In Lost in Space, the film's time-traveled elements introduce Spider Smith as a future version of Dr. Smith, with both characters played by Gary Oldman. Unfortunately, the 90s-era CGI rendered Spider Smith into a completely unconvincing animated character more resembling a traditional cartoon than a monstrous human spider creature. This is a shortcoming that Rebel Moon is completely equipped to avoid. To be fair, CGI was still in its relative infancy in the 90s, and few visual effect-laden movies of that era have aged as well as such CGI watersheds as Terminator 2 Judgment Day or Jurassic Park. Even still, Lost in Space's presentation of Spider Smith have aged quite terribly. Thanks to the improvements in how fully CGI characters are created in the 21st century, there's plenty of reason to expect Harmada will be created with much better CGI. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.